all right fam so we are back at it again with another crazy video now this one right here is coming from my guy pierce morgan now this is am i a black man if i say i'm a black man now this is the whole like bro it's pride month okay and we know a lot of people feel like oh if i identify as a dog I can, i'm a dog if i identify as a pig i'm a pig so we've been going ahead and get into this whole conversation so shout out to pierce morgan for even having this conversation on his uncensored podcast show whatever i don't know hit the like button subscribe to no post notifications without further ado let's get it let's go defending hang on women ernest and keep quiet for a moment ernest please stop talking i'm reading something i love you ernest the Ovarian Cancer UK tweeted today. Love you too. Did you know that anyone with ovaries, regardless of gender identity, can be at risk for ovarian <coughs> cancer? Let's raise awareness by asking, can men get ovarian cancer? Uh, James Barr, men can't get ovarian cancer because men don't have ovaries. What is a leading you... cancer charity doing asking this stupid question? What are you doing attacking a charity? Uh, because I think that is attacking women. Why are you attacking a child? Well, I'll tell you why. Because a woman then actually messaged me who has you're, terminal you're ovarian about... cancer, who says the idea of being on a tiny ward with somebody identifying as a woman well, next to her who actually has a penis and is a man, right, fills her with utter horror. Because of all the nonsense her last and fear-mongering that this platform is creating. No, she's a woman. Listen doesn't to want me. to be around men. Listen right. to me. When she's dying, Pierce, listen to me. Pierce, in an ovarian here, cancer. Question, if I question, decide Pierce. to drink, if I decide to drink oat question, milk, that doesn't mean that actual milk is no longer is is being threatened. Okay, and in this case, this charity want to raise he's awareness about maybe gotta, one percent, if that, of people that could suffer from ovarian cancer. So how many aren't... men? Okay, let me ask you: How many men have ovaries? I have no idea, Piers. Pierce. I'm no, not in that how many? situation. How many? But they Hold put it in their tweet. If you read it properly, it actually says no men. statistics are. No men. No men Pierre. have ovaries. Well, according no to women. a charity I a that work in this field, no they do. Men so have why don't you take ovaries. Up with the charity? No women have penises. Well, according to the charity, who I think probably know more about Hold ovaries on. than you do, because they clearly you don't. are a woman, Piers. They Neither clearly am I. don't. Sorry, look, you know so much about women, your wife took a two-week break from you, so I don't know why we're listening to you talking what? about women constantly. Can we just get back to the fact that they are trying to help someone? My That's wife did what, did you say? Didn't you have a sabbatical from each other? It was actually a lot longer than two weeks. <laughs> was it? Yeah. How I recommend it? it warmly, but I wouldn't okay. buy one from you. Um, <laughs> let me bring Riley back in. Riley, oh, this is the goodness. trouble. When you ask it's specific questions, Ernest, stop shouting. Everybody, uh, the conversation is clear. Yes, go on, go oh, okay. on Ernest. So I got to be quiet. But go on, Ernest. The, the, in a nutshell, the, the larger point I'm making here is that the reason why I'm saying transphobia is because it's clear on this panel that you all, a lot of you on this panel believe that there is only one type of woman, which is cisgender women. And anyone else does not prescribe to that definition for you all. No, and in my what, opinion, no, no. that is transphobic. Here's what I you believe. You only believe that Let cisgender answer, women Ernest. are women and everyone okay, else are different is not included people. in the conversation. Or oh, is black just black? It's called this. It's called uh, that, that, that's because you don't know that? it's because Caribbean, black is just Jamaican. black. Just like there is no such thing as cisgender and transgender. There are just women. You can you can embellish your titles whatever you want. Why are you complaining? Walk down the street. Let me ask you this, Ernest. Ernest, Ernest, Ernest. Ernest. Ah, here they go with that. These are not the same thing. This is not the same thing, bro. <laughs> like she said. And she, she made a great point. She made an amazing point. I would have never thought to even ask that. You know what I'm saying? But that was an amazing point. Is it just different type of blacks or a black is black just black is it different type of whites or is white just white like i'm like at the end of the day a woman is just a woman and you you can't take a man and you can do whatever you want to to a man you could dress him up you can put a dress on him you can get him eyebrows you you can even cut off the the the, the penis you can do all that it will still be a man at the end of the day. It don't matter how much changing you will do to this person it will still be a man at the end of the day it, like you can't change that bro and it's so bad because today in, in today's society bro everybody is so much in their feelings bro if someone is saying something against how you feel about something you automatically think oh you're transphobic oh you're this oh no it's not transphobic it's not transphobia whatever you want to call it's not none of that bro it's just straight facts how about you get out your feelings and you honor the facts that they're giving you because it's straight facts no man can have ovaries how is that even an argument bro it's like it's so many other things in america and you talking about a man having ovaries you saying oh well if you say they did say the man had ovaries. what type of nonsense are you people think like what goes on in your mind bro 
you, you like I understand you guys are on the sweeter side of life. At the end of the day, right now, we on the straight path to life right now. We all going straight. Y'all going zigzag all across the country. I don't even know where y'all going, bro. Y'all don't even have a destination where y'all trying to go. We have a destination trying to seek truth. And y'all want to, ooh, we sweet over here. So we go over here and we go over here. Y'all want to go all across everywhere, bro. Stay in the straight path. I know it's hard for y'all to stay in the straight path because y'all not straight. But I'm just... I'm sorry, that was wrong. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was impulsive. I let my impulsive, I let my intrusive thoughts get the best of me in that one. Okay, forgive me. Okay, anyways, let's just finish, bro. This this conversation is just getting out of hand, bro. Let me, let me ask you this. Why are you conflating race with gender? Hang on, don't all shout. Ernest, let me ask you this. If I now identify as a black man, am I a black man? Why are you conflating race with gender, Pierce? I'm just asking you a question, thing. Ernest. That's intellectually dishonest. Don't if I identify... That's intellectually dishonest. Maybe. But it's a question you don't want to answer, isn't it? If if, if self-identity is limitless... Because if race is not the same as gender... I'm now a black man called Ernest. Because race am is I, not the same as gender. Am I a black man if I say I'm a black man? Say it again. Am I a black man Listen, if I say I'm a black you man? You can be... Am I? No, because okay. you're a white man because Thank it's you. race. So you don't because respect race my right to identify as a black man, do you? Do you think it's ridiculous? You can identify as a black man. You can identify as a black man, Pierce, but I know you lean on white privilege more than anything else. Okay. Oh. Just to be clear, you, to. you wouldn't respect my so right to identify as a... Wow. You, don't, you don't respect my right to identify as a black man. In fact, you think it's ridiculous, don't you, Ernest? You could. You, you, Pierce, you could if you wanted to. And yeah. the reality is would that you respect society, me, Ernest? a white man like you would you respect can identify me? as black <laughs> would you and, respect not, me and not and be refer harmed to me as in the a black same man. way that a transgender person would. Would you respect me and refer to me Say as a again? black man? Would you respect me and refer to me as a black man? Yes or no? No. Thank you, Ernest. Okay, let's move on to uh, oh, something my... else. This is... Uh... All right. All right, bro. All right, so... I seen that clip and I was like, I had to react to this with y'all, bro. I didn't see the like the ovaries and all that. Like, hey, that was nonsense, okay? But this whole, if he identifies as a black man, does that make him black? You see how he didn't even want to answer that question. That's how. That's how those the look that you gave Ernest. It's the same look that we be giving y'all when y'all say, "Well, I identify as a woman and I'm a man." Oh, I identify as a cat. And, and I'm a human. Like, that's the same looks we people with common sense look at y'all, bro. It, this ain't a right wing, left wing battle at all. Okay? This is just a common sense type of thing. Like, just have logical sense. Like, just think deeply about it. it, it honestly, you don't got to think deeply about it. If a man was born a man, could he be a, could he be literally a woman? Like, can he honestly have everything that a woman has? Like, I mean... You don't got to think deep about that. It's just obvious. It's it's so obvious. It's logical. It's so logical. N no. No, he cannot. He will always be a man. No matter how much he try to change. No matter how many heels he wear. No matter how. <coughs> he will always be a man. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, let's just be real here, bro. It's, it's literally a battle in life. A battle in America between common sense and non-common sense i don't know bro it's just like that, that that's the battle that we're having it's not even a left and a right thing no more it's literally common sense versus people that don't have common sense the common not common is not free to them common sense ain't free to them and it's bad bro it's honestly sad that we are literally having an argument over whether or not if 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 uh if a man can have ovaries or whether or not can Pierce Morgan identifies as a black man. We're having arguments about this. And you were so, you were so like, you didn't even want to answer that question for real. You, you look so confused because you knew that it was just going to contradict what you already believe. Because if a person identifies as a woman, you're going to consider that person a woman and say, oh, you're a woman. But if he want to identify as a black man, you're saying, well, in reality, woo, woo. why you don't say that to the same people that want to identify as a woman that's not a woman? You see what I mean, bro? It's it, like they live in contra like everything is contradictory to to what they already believe. When you honestly give them common sense and you just say, ask them a one question thing, I can identify as a white man if I'm black. Like if you ask them these common sense questions, bro. They they gonna look at you like, uh, uh I, I I guess no. Like come on, bro. Just just be real. Be real. Seriously, be real with yourself, fam. Anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. 
Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, man. Shout out to Pierce Morgan. I actually got another video. I'm going to react to Pierce Morgan with Candace Owens, bro. And that one right there is going to be good. So keep a lookout for that one, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Be your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all. All right. Let's make common sense common again, please. Like, that, let's just make it less, less, less normalize common sense now, okay? Let's just normalize that. Stop normalizing all this Pride Month and all this LGBTQ plus ITC 5544467473. Stop normalizing all that nonsense and normalize common sense, okay? Anyways, y'all hit the like button, subscribe to the notifications, been with the button, pan. Appreciate y'all for 108,000 subscribers. Y'all are the best. Without further ado, I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.